Plate margins are where tectonic plates meet, and it's important to know what happens at these different plate margins. We're going to look at the three main types of margins today. The three main types of margin that you will need to be aware of are constructive, destructive and conservative. Movement at all these margins is very slow, sometimes the speed that your fingernails grow. At a constructive plate margin, the plates move away from each other. Magma from the mantle rises and is forced to the surface. This can cause both earthquakes and volcanoes. The lava is very fluid and it will run for a fair distance, creating more flat, shield volcano. The Mid-Atlantic Ridge is an excellent example of a constructive margin. At destructive margins, the plates move towards each other. At these margins, you can find deep ocean trenches and fold mountains. A great example is off the west coast of South America, where the dense oceanic Nazca plate is subducted by the less dense continental South American plate. Friction, pressure and heat melt the oceanic plate, creating a sticky magma that can break through the crust to create explosive eruptions and create composite volcanoes. There are also occasions where two continental plates will meet, such as at the Himalayas, but because they're both continental plates, there's no subduction. Rather, the land is folded and crumpled, creating mountains at this collision margin. Conservative margins are where the plates seem to move past each other, and a great example of this is the San Andreas Fault in California. Tremendous pressure can build up at these margins as the ground becomes stuck between the two plates. As the pressure is suddenly released, the ground can slip and shake, creating large and destructive earthquakes. San Francisco and Los Angeles have both suffered in the past due to this margin. Understanding these margins is vital for the people who live near to them. It will allow them to prepare and plan for any future tectonic events and hopefully save lives.